Hello everybody, my name is Seti Said, and this is a quick tutorial on how to configure Dreamweaver to work with your WAMP Apache server. The first thing you need to do is navigate your way to the site manager in uh, Dreamweaver. And if we look now, um, I'm in my login.php file, and what I want to do is be able to make changes in my code and quickly see those changes take effect, and we can do that in Dreamweaver by selecting the live view and if your server is not set up it will not display correctly so let's take a look at that so if I don't set up this testing server now and I click no and then it says do you want to preview using your local source which I thought was the Apache server and it's not which kinda is but it doesn't actually know what to do with the code because it does uh, apply some of the effects to it. It does bring back in my CSS files before as it did as it wasn't recognized earlier but again it's still letting us know that some of my files are missing because the testing server is not defined. So let's go ahead and set that up and it's very easy. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and um, get that site dialog box. This box here opened up you can get through it from up to the site menu here and clicking on site and then manage sites um, but once this box is open we want to click on the add new server button and we can name our server if we like or we can choose to leave it this default name here I'm just going to go ahead and put in localhost and then we don't want to connect using FTP if you want to connect using FTP you can do that if you have a uh, hosting account with somebody like GoDaddy or HostGator and you know your FTP address you can put that here and your username and whatever password you use to connect to your cPanel you put that there and your web address and you should be set but if we're losing WAMP um, which collects, connects locally we want to connect using our local network so we'll that's the option we should select select there then the next thing we want to do is, is uh, choose our server folder which is the folder that contains all of your website files or your working files that you're working on. I click the browse and my folder is already selected here in my place so I'll just go ahead and click select and then the next thing I want to do is put in a URL address which is the address that's in your title bar of your browser uh, when you using when you're using your WAMP server and mine is just localhost and my folder is my underscore place so I'm gonna copy that and just paste that back into Dreamweaver and we got a little bit too many HTTPs there so let's get rid of those and now I want to select on the advanced tab and then I want to select from this drop down menu here for the server model PHP MySQL once that's done we can click save here and save here and we're done um, now if I close this out and come back again real quick everything should have taken effect I click live now everything's in place and we don't have any more of that messy code up top and everything's in order the way it should be now I can go ahead and quickly make changes over here and see those changes uh, take effect on my code live so let's just take take a look at an example here if I go down to my CSS file let's try changing the color of the submit button um, I'm going to change it to green so I can go ahead and see what the green looks like go ahead and click over here I didn't save anything I just clicked on the other side in the the, um, the design window and it changed took effect immediately so if I go back on this side and let's say I want that to be teal change it to teal click on this side and then we get the teal color go back say I wanted to adjust the margin from the top from not to be 10 but to be 5 do that click over here and we can see the little adjustment that was made there but I like 10 better so we'll go ahead and just put that back the way it was so you can see how this is going to help us out a lot and if you haven't done so you should go ahead and and configure your WAMP with your Dreamweaver. Hope this helps you out. Leave comments, subscribe. Have a good one.